Hi guys, Wendy here with Artfully Created. I'm doing this um, video for the Slumber Party 4 Remarkably Created Teen Group. And Janet wanted some people to make flowers. And I told her I can make these 3D flowers. And these are my samples that I did for another video of mine. And they just turned out really cute. And you can stick them on top of a box if you make boxes. Here's a quick example. Just use some glue dots or dimensionals. It makes a great presentation. And this one I just used plain cardstock, and it was just my cardstock in my own personal stash. But of course, you can use Stamp It Up cardstock. And I did this, the yellow and the orange, out of Manila cardstock that I will be showing you today. And I used some of my alcohol inks. And because I'm a new demonstrator, I don't have all the supplies yet from Stamp It Up, so I'm using a lot of my personal stash. And these are both alcohol inks, but I did them two completely different ways. This one I did after the um, flower was made, and I just squirted with a couple different inks. And then this one, I believe I did it once I punched out the petals, and I just saturated the, um, this craft mat and just put a couple drops of reinker, or actually my spray inks, and then alcohol, and just and just saturated the thing. So what you need. Um, is the pansy stamp or punch, excuse me, the fun flower, and this little flower from the, um, the set of three. And I'm sorry, I don't know names offhand. And you'll need one sheet of cardstock and one brad. And I used the, the mini brads from Stamp It Up and they weren't strong enough, so this one is a little bit bigger. And just punch out four each of the bigger stamps. it gets stuck. Okay. And then four of the pansies. And then just two of, I think these are the petite petals or that set of three. And that's all the punching you'll do. And you were lucky enough to get a Stamp It Up craft mat or piercing mat, use that. I haven't been able to get one of the piercing mats, so I'm using what I have. You need some kind of pokey tool, and this is what I use to make the holes. Um, one, some water in a spritzer, and reinker, and some alcohol. And I filled it with that much alcohol and I used seven drops. And this is the first time I'm using this as an alcohol ink, so I'm not sure how it will turn out. So then the first thing you want to do is just poke the center. I'm in frame. Poke the center of the flower. And if you can offset them, that would be great. If not, just eyeball as best as you can. It really won't matter when the flower is completed. It will look beautiful. And then just keep poking the center until you have all the petals on.
This is a quick and easy little 3D flower. And then take it off the little pokey tool. Add your brad if that's possible. And sometimes I have to just do it by hand one at a time. And of course, being on video, it makes things a little bit more difficult. But you'll get the idea. Okay, then really press down the back of the brad as tight as possible. And the key to this, making this flower, is to get it as saturated as you can. And then you just take the pokey tool, lifting up the petals one at a time, and these two smaller ones, get them as close to the brad as possible. And then kind of take your fingers and scrunch them. And then each layer I add more water. And as it becomes more saturated, the petals may have a tendency to rip and tear. And just take your time with this. It's not a, a race. Because the end result will be beautiful. And you can decide when you want to add your spritzer. Um, you can do it as you are moving these into place. However, it will become messy. So um, I just want to let you know that I will usually do this after, so it will save my fingers from getting a ton of ink. And I try to squirt under the larger petals, and I'm just squishing them up. And just keep doing that until you have gotten all the leaves done. And I'll be right back. Okay, when you have scrunched up all the petals, your flower will look like this. Don't be alarmed. This is where the magic happens. Take your pokey tool and one petal at a time, just curl the petals backwards and just continue going around each petal and some of them will be sticking to each other so just carefully peel them back so they don't rip and you will start seeing your flower taking form and once that is done then the fun part comes. So do that and I'll show you when it's done. Be right back. Okay, I've, I've curled the largest flower down and you can choose to do all the flowers or just start mushing and pushing the petals in different directions and you can curl it as much as you want to curl it or, or let it dry naturally. It all depends on the look you're going for. And I will, if I'm not using the inks on my craft mat, I will dry that off a bit. And then now the fun. Now I don't know how this will look because I've never used the, the Stamp It Up spritzers. I like the alcohol inks because they dry really quick. I'm also an impatient crafter, so sometimes I will use my heat tool to help the drying process a little bit longer. Now this is the difference doing it this way, putting the inks on after 
you put the flower together is some of the insides, you know, will remain the natural color. Um, and I don't mind that. And if you had other colors, you know, introduce a secondary color. For this one, and I put the inks all down here, and I just put each petal in here and just saturated it and waited for each petal to dry before I put the assembly together. But you can do it whichever way feels right for you. You can open the petals, spray inside. It would be pretty with a secondary color, but I only have these two spritzers, so. And I didn't want to show with um, another vendor's ink that, from my own stash. So, that's the flower. You could let it air dry naturally or heat dry it, but have fun. Make a ton of these. They're, you know, fairly easy. You can do a, it took me 10 minutes to do a flower. Maybe a little less if I wasn't taping. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have fun at the slumber party and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.